Okay. Theme of this two week spread is the Nine of Pentacles. So the Nine of Pentacles talks about abundance. This is a self-made person. Um, whatever they do for a living, they do it to such a manner. They get paid respectfully for it. Um, so much so that they have spare money for beautiful clothes, posh grapes and a fancy bird. Um, abundance on a grounded level that you're successful about. This is terrible, you know, picking up these cards because it always gives you another one. But anyway, never mind. Um, middle of your spread. Six of cups. Everybody wants a six of cups. The six of cups can talk about a... Um, okay, six of cups talks about reminiscing fondly um, of the past. It can talk about children. And it can talk about how you felt when you were a child. Um, all your emotions just for growing flowers, beautiful flowers, fond memories of the past. It can talk about somebody coming back from the past. Um, that would be last week, last year, from a previous life. Because it can talk about a soulmate connection. Crossing you to help you or hinder you is the Knight of Rods. So the Knight of Rods can be another person. If so, of the fire suits, Aries being one, Sagittarius, Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising. The knight's not quite the top of the suit, as far as, ex I don't like to use the word maturity, um, so experience. Um, this knight here rushes in with his passion on his shoulder, bravely going where no one else dares. So much so, they haven't thought about it beforehand. But they want it so much, they're so passionate about it, they're fired up about it so much, in they go. And actually, when they're doing it, that's what they do. So you have to be careful here, albeit I actually think this is yourself. The characteristics of this fella is yourself. However, if it is another person, and if you are looking at your soulmate reconnection type thing, he actually gets a bad rap because he is known to rush in and rush back out again. And it can also talk about travel. OK, well, I don't know how it's going to help your hinder you. But I suspect if it is somebody has come back from the past, you're rushing right in there, aren't you? <laughs> you're rushing right in there. You, you, you're going for it. You know, a previous boyfriend or even if it's not a or girlfriend uh, or even if it's not a previous relationship. There's something about it that ignites your fire and you're running towards it. To hinder you, then that's where you have to be careful about this rushing in and rushing out because this fella upside down is just a flake. He's just a flake. Not trusting, not trustable. He's flaky. And it's not that he's being dishonest when he says, yeah, he'll do that and he'll be there and he doesn't do it or he isn't there. But he, because cause he's flaky. He's too busy rushing in onto the next thing. It's quite his attention. Okay, so um, mm, mm, mm. what lies below you is the hermit. So the hermit can talk about a Virgo person, um, but the hermit it talks about, um, so it's a solitary card, this. So it can be that you go off the face of the earth into a room and sort your head out. and um, Or it, can, it might be that you're not hiding away in a room, you are in public. However, what you're doing is completely inside of yourself. It's just you doing it. It's not something to be shared with the world. And you are looking deep inside yourself to find your spiritual light. Or it might be that you see your spiritual light. Because actually the rod here can talk about spirituality, um, but it's in the distance and you're following it. And you don't care where it takes you or day or night where you have to go, you're going to follow it. Getting your answers from within. Okay, what lies behind you is the lovers. So the lovers can be. Um, so on its face, it talks about the lovers. It talks about two people marrying together, whether that is marrying, but coming together as one. It's um, the, it's the number six in the major arcana and can denote 
a Gemini person um, or something that happened in Gemini time. So uh, end of May, June or two happen in Gemini time, albeit this is a two week spread, so I doubt that. Um, but it, um, it it reduces down to a two card, to a, to, to a choice card. So it can talk about a contract, a commitment, a promise, um, you know, something that you've got a choice to, and then you marry it all up, it all becomes one. So if this night here is you, and this is somebody from the past, you're rushing off towards them. You're rushing off towards them. I'm just having a look here now. Um, or if it is a contract or um, something like that that you've been offered, that uh, fires you up and you're running towards it. But it might be that it's telling you to take your time a little bit. Okay, um, what lies above you is the Four of Cups. So the Four of Cups talks about a little bit um, of emotional boredom. Uh, it talks about, um, so where is the Five of Cups? You're looking at your Three Cups and there's two behind you. On this one, it's talking about you're looking at your Three Cups of the past, whatever the emotion in those cups were of the past concentrating too much on there whereas in the five of cups there is two standing behind him in this one it's not on the earth yet it's in the ethers it's there in the air it's being offered to you in the air another cup of emotion but you're too busy that you can't see it being offered something that you're not gonna that you've not been you've not looked at so it could be that there is, um, you know, a choice here and there is, um, you have to commit to it. But you're not quite sure yet if what you're committing to may bring the Ace of Cups to you. But this spread looks so positive, I'm telling you, look up, look up. And if you see here, he's got his back to this Nine of Pentacles. You're not looking at this Nine of Pentacles, this abundance on the grounded level. You're not looking at what landing that Ace of Cups onto the ground might bring. Lying in front of you. Well, you haven't seen that cup, have you? No. So now someone's offering it to you. Page of Cups. So the Page of Cups, um, right, so it can talk about a child being of uh, the cup suit, being Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, Sun, Moon, ro Rising. Um, and it can talk about a message um, of the emotional um, level. But it can be yourself. It can be that you don't actually know what to do with that cup. I mean, is the fish coming out of it? Not even like looking down at it, being afraid of it. It's afraid. This card is afraid. It's afraid to see what's in that cup. And it can be the cup that if, it, if this denotes you, that you're offering out, you're not sure what's in your cup. You're afraid. You're afraid someone can say, I don't want to sip out of that. It's got fish in it. <laughs> And I'm just looking at it now and actually I, the, the, the eye view, it's down to this hermit. It might be that, you know, you're on the last leg of this hermit bit. You know, it might be that you're looking inside yourself to see if your cup's got fish in it. What's the reality of your cup? And it could be, you know, you're thinking that this fella's upside down. And actually... <sighs> Is the fish going to run away or flap away or fly away or whatever? How you, and it might be because you see yourself as heartbroken. Three of Swords talks about uh, swords being um, mental words, clarity, truths stuck through your heart so that it will bleed. You see yourself as heartbroken. You see these three swords as these three cups here. And that's why you're not looking up because you're still in hurt mode, still in hurt mode, still working through that. But it needs to be below you and looking out to your spread because time has moved now. And this is causing you this. And that's how you see yourself. 
And you need to look at life in reality because how other people see you is as happy as Larry. And it might be that, you, you know, you've got a face for the world um, and a face for home. Um, but other people see you as um, emotionally fulfilled. People see you as, you know, you've got your 10 cups. You, you've got to your 10 cups. The rainbow is coming out of it. Other people see you a lot happier than maybe you're feeling. So maybe you need to bring yourself back into reality. So, um, you know, and get yourself away from this towards this, even if you have to reduce those to get yourself away from this to the outside world, it can be that you've had no help with these feelings because people don't know. Why would they come and help you when you've got the Ten of Cups? They're too busy dealing with their own Four of Cups. Why would they come and help you? Because they don't know, do they? They don't know the heartbreak. Hopes and fears, Three of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles, cooperation on a grounded level. In reality, uh, teamwork, uh, camaraderie, everybody doing the bit that they have to do to the best of their ability, mirroring everybody else. Because this is a, a cathedral, so there's like 18 of those all the way around, all being done. Sticking your chisel in the place that it needs to be and tapping on there. Then moving your chisel to where it needs to be next and tapping on there. Um, excuse me. If you're not sure, don't worry, because actually you'll be able to ask for help and help will be given to you. You need to ask for it. You need to be with like minded people. Great card that. And it might be that you're working, you know, in a team towards getting your ten of cups. To see what is in your cup there. You know, and um, if, if we're looking now here, three of swords, three of pentacles. I know that's a four of cups, but actually I think it is split out here to three of cups and ace. Yeah, that's that cup there. So that's what's on, on, on for you at the moment. We're three everywhere, three everywhere. And of course, six is double of three. And of course, the lovers is, is six, which is double of three. So it's all intertwined and I think you may have got yourself a bit stagnant on that card there. But don't you worry because your outcome, the Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune is um, something for Jewish. Right, so I don't do upside down cards. So a wheel can go up or down. So um, Wheel of Fortune, uh, something fortuitous happening out of the, uh, you know just out of the air the you are on the upturn the wheel is turning upwards for you but as everything what goes up comes down so it might be that you feel like something happened that's not fortuitous but i promise you that give it enough time and you will find that the thing that you thought wasn't fortuitous actually is so the analogy I always use for this is married for 20 years and, you know, divorced and broken hearted. You've lost the love of your life. And then you meet someone and you realise that what you thought there was the love of your life for 20 whole years. You're so happy it's over and it's gone because what you've got in front of you, look what you've got now. This is really the love of your life. So I use that analogy when you, you feel it's not fortuitous. But the other message on this card and I think you're keeping yourself in the Three of Swords by not looking at your fourth cup, by going within. And there's so much there for you. And I mean, we're talking the nine, of, we're talking abundance being the whole thing. The other message of this card is let go of your grip on your life and let the universe do its job. So most definitely, you know, you have the control here for this to be turning up. And it's staying where it's staying because you're holding your hand on it there. Afraid it's going to go down. Okay, well, that's your reading. I mean, it's fantastic, isn't it? Even if we've got the Three of Swords here, um, it is. It's fantastic. Everybody wants the Six of Cups in their reading. And if you've got the Six of Cups in your reading, everybody bloody wants the lovers with it and vice versa. 
on top of which we have the Ten of Cups, on top of which that's a great card, on top of which we've got the Wheel of Fortune. You need to let go of your grip, get out of this mode here, get out of this mode here and actually be what the world sees you to be. And I personally love fish. But there you go. 